What's up guys and welcome to Predications Daily Tech Tips. In today's tech tip you're learning how to change your Apple ID password. Now there are many reasons that will make you want to change your Apple ID password but for whatever reason you have is how to change it. Now before you can change your Apple ID password you must have access to your account and that means you must know your current password before you can change it. Now, if you can't remember your current password and therefore you can't log into your Apple ID, then you need to be learning how to reset your Apple ID password, which is a whole separate video, but I'll link it down below once it's ready. And for this tutorial, I'm using a web browser on a computer. Now, you can also change your Apple ID on your iPhone, on your Mac, or any other computer you might have using the Mac OS operating system or the iOS operating system on your iPhone, or even an iPad on iPad OS. But for this one, we're doing this on a web browser, which means you can do this on any computer, whether it's a Mac, a Windows PC, or even the browser on your Android or iOS smartphone. All right, so let's get into it. So as soon as you launch your favorite browser, you want to go to the Apple ID homepage, and that is appleid.apple.com, appleid.apple.com. And then you want to sign into your account. So put in your Apple ID. And then click on this arrow or press enter and then enter the current password for this Apple ID and then sign in. Now if you're signing into a browser you've never signed in on before you might be required to verify your identity using two-factor authentication so either a text message on your phone or an email and once you're verified you'll be able to sign in to your Apple ID. And just for the record, as we sign in, Apple ID is basically just saying Apple account or iCloud account. It's all the same thing. Now, once you're signed in, this is a page you're going to see. The URL is appleid.apple.com slash account slash manage. And this is everything about your Apple ID you will see on this page. You can see your account details, security details. You can see the devices you're logged on in. You can see your payment and shipping details, all the information about your Apple ID is right there. Now, a very important part is here under security because that's where the link to change your password is or the button to change your password is. Now, before you can change your password, of course, Apple will need a way to verify that it's you trying to change your password. Now, the first method is by actually signing in. And the second method is by using trusted phone numbers and email addresses. So go ahead and click on change password. And once you do that, this little pop-up window will appear uh, and it will require you to enter your current password. And that's why I say you need to know your current password and then enter the new password that you want to change to and then confirm that using that. Now I'm gonna enter my current password here, the one I just used to sign in. And then in the next field, I'm gonna enter the password that I want to be using, the one I want to change to. And then I'll re-enter that new password. And of course, while I enter my new password, it still has to meet the minimum requirements for an Apple ID password. It has to be eight or more characters. It has to have upper and lowercase letters and at least one number in that password. Now, before you can click on change password, there's a very important option here that says sign out from devices and websites which are using my Apple ID. Now, if I check this like that, it means as soon as I change my password, Every other device or browser that's logged into my account with the old password is going to be logged out immediately. Now, if I don't want to do that, I want to keep those websites or phones or devices logged in, I simply uncheck that. But sometimes you might be changing your password for security reasons and you want other devices and browsers logged out that are using the old password. So personally, I like to check that and then click on change password. And that's it. You have now changed your Apple ID password. Now every other device or browser logged in with the old password is going to be logged out and they will require your new password to sign back in. And that's really how to change your Apple ID password on a web browser. Now I'll also make other videos on how to change your Apple ID password on a Mac and also on an iPhone and also on an iPad. So make sure you subscribe to stay tuned for those videos. And then also I'll make a video on how to reset your Apple ID password. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned 
for those upcoming videos but as far as this one is concerned thanks for watching i'll talk to you guys in the next video